Ah, Steam. The platform we use to basically play almost every game that exists. This platform has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, and lots of games on it. So, with a platform with this many games on it, there's bound to be some pretty bad ones. So, today, I'm going to go on Steam and find a bunch of free-to-play games and play them all and see what, how good or bad they are. So the first game I'm going to review is called Mushroom Heroes. Mushroom Heroes is a simple puzzle game where you play as three mushrooms who each have different abilities. There's Dombey who can push blocks, Chumpy who has a higher jump and can float, and Yuppie who has a bow and arrow. This game is kind of like The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes if you've been looking. You play as three heroes who wear red, green, and blue outfits, and, and they can stack up on each other and become a giant tower. But hey, at least it's a fun little puzzle game that you can play, and it's totally free! Anyway, my rating for this game is I'll say it's good. Anyway, on to the next game, which is called Brawlhalla. This game seems pretty normal, until you start to notice a few things about it. First of all, there's a pumped up announcer who always likes to say stuff during your playthrough. Just take a listen. 3, 2, 1, Brawl! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Player 2 wins! Next, you use two buttons to attack. One that allows you to use your standard attack, and another one that allows you, you to use your special attack. Depending on wh which way you control the analog stick, your attack will be different. Next is the fact that there are items all over the stage, like bombs, spike balls, and swords. And, the swords make a lightsaber whoosh sounding effect. Now, let's look at another game. Super Smash Brothers. Let's see. There's an announcer who always is yelling, energetic stuff. A new Home Run Contest! Donkey Kong! No contest! This game's hilarious! Here we go! You use two buttons to fight. Okay, there's the sword, and right there is the bomb. Do you notice anything? Well, if you said that Brawlhalla is a ripoff of Super Smash Brothers, you're right. I mean, the titles are really similar. Just look at it. Brawlhalla. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. It's just a freaking ripoff. Well, some things that make this crap ripoff different from Super Smash Bros. is that it's more focused on online play, there's a leveling up system, and all the characters are original. They didn't come from some other games. No. This is the company's only game. My final rating for this game is 5. It's a solid game, and it's a little bit fun and addictive. But it's just a shameless rip off of Super Smash Bros. Oh, and if you're wondering why I changed the numbers, I don't know. It just feels better. So I guess good means 7.5. Anyway, the next game is called Super Polish Trump. Why make a Paper Mario ripoff about Donald freaking Trump? Anyway, you gotta select your gear to get into the fight. Like your Make America Great Again cat. Anyway, your first boss fight as Trump is. It's against CNN, but they're FNN. 
because fake news. That doesn't make sense at all! What does this have to do with Paper Mario? So the next game I found is called Rapid Tap. Now I'm not sure why I picked this game up, but maybe it's because of the Steam page. So let's look at it. Okay, so let's see. Huh. So here's the Steam page. Um, automatically I saw this random photo here, and I, was, and I laughed. It's some random kid's high school photo. Um, some weird you can do it. Some weird photo. Um, this meme. Um, and this. And I'm like... And I'm like, um... Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and check it out, because make reasonable life choices. Wait, where are all the weird backgrounds advertised on the Steam page? Oh wait, there they are. So anyway, the game is a generic clicker game with some really weird skins. Like this tweet of some mods for a video game where you can play as Kermit the Frog. Or, why not a dabbing picture of Jesus? Or you know what? How about this picture of Ray William Johnson in a, in a penguin costume? Yeah, I'll pick this one. So anyway, you can, it's basically Simon. A green square flashes, you click it. If you lose three hearts, you die. It's a simple little clicking game, but... The skins make this game really funny. Overall, I gave this game a 3.5. It's just a generic clicking game. And the skins make it seem more cringy. Well, some things that make this crap ripoff different from Super Smash Bros. is that it's more focused on online play, there's a leveling up system, and all the characters are original. They didn't come from some other games. No. This is the company's only game. Hey guys, it's me, Banana Jelly, and welcome to the end of the video. I would all like to thank you all for watching this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and you know, it took a while to make this episode. So just enjoy the good music. What the crap is this?